Hi, my name's Sienna, and this is my little helper, Lani. Hi. Hello. And we're both very excited to be ambassadors for the Jumpstart Read for the Record, supporting educational opportunities for all children. Yes. Yes. So I know that a lot of people are reading as part of the campaign, and we would like to share with you a little bit of a yoga practice, something that you can maybe share with your little ones to increase the amount of quality time that you get to spend together. Yeah. But also because yoga is just so good, isn't it? Especially for little ones. Yes. So we're gonna jump on our mats and I'll show you a couple of different poses that you can do together. They're very casual, very playful, um, and it's just about connecting deeper with each other and with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna start back to back. So I want you to turn around, put your backs together, put your bottoms together if you can. Sit up nice and tall, hands on your knees, spine reaches all the way to the sky, and then take a deep breath in together. Inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Can you feel me breathe into you? Yeah. I can feel you too. Inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. One more. Inhale, take your shoulders up to your ears. And then as you exhale, drop them all the way down to the floor. Beautiful. So now we're going to do one of our favorites, which is where one of us leans forward and the other one leans back. So if you want to go forwards or back first, Lani? Forwards. Forwards. Okay, so I'll go backwards. So if you're going forwards, take your hands out in front of you. And if you're going backwards, you lean back onto your friend, onto your partner. You can even drop your head and neck back. Does that feel nice? Yeah. And then all the way back up to C. Ooh. And then we'll go the other way. So yeah. lean back, head into my, into my shoulders and all the way back. Take your arms out wide if you like. I what? You can take your arms out nice and wide like a starfish. Does that feel good? Yeah. And then we'll come all the way back up. Beautiful. Nice. Now we'll turn around. Let's take our legs out nice and wide. So you want your feet to be touching or maybe your little one's feet come to the inside of your legs or your feet, your ankles. And then we hold on to each other's arms. And then we're going to go forward or back again. So you want to go forwards or back? Forwards. Forwards. So I go back. And then we swap. What does this feel like? A rowboat? Yeah. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Try not to pull too far back. Ooh. You feel it in your belly, in your muscles? Yeah. Nice. And then we'll stop here. And we're going to swap arms. So hold on to the opposite hand. And then we're going to take the other hand, wave it with the other hand, across to the opposite direction. So you'll move this way, yeah. and I'm going to go this way. Whoop. Like you're making a big rainbow with the side of your body. And then all the way back up, and across to the other side, swapping hands. Nice. You're nailing this. Yeah. Back up. To the other side. Whoop. Sound effects included. Yeah. Ready? One more whoop. Ready? Whoop. <laughs> And all the way back up. <sighs> Keep holding onto the hands. Oh, actually, you told me you taught me a new way to do this one, didn't you? Yeah. So now we're going to take our feet together. And I always tried to do it by holding hands first, but Lani showed me that it's easier if you take your feet up first, and then you hold on, and you lift up nice and tall. Ooh, nice and proud. Like you just won a trophy. You won first place in the athletics carnival. Big smile. And then we release. <sighs> I am <fell> down. <laughs> yeah. Take the soles of your feet together and we'll do a little butterfly. So little gentle flaps with the knees. Lift up nice and tall in the spine. Three, two, one. We're going to stand up now and go back to back again. And then bending forward, reach down and tickle your toes. Beautiful. Reach in between the legs and hold on to each other's hands. And then little shifts forwards and backwards. So I'll pull you this way a little bit. And then you pull me that way a little bit. We look funny, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> but does it feel nice? Yeah. Yeah. And then release all the way down. <sighs> I think we've had a child's pose. What do you reckon? Yeah. Do you want to try a child's pose for me? Yeah. So come to the back edge of the mat. 
Spread your knees nice and wide and sit down onto your heels. Nice. And then walk the hands all the way forwards towards me. Put the forehead onto the floor. You can even roll your head from side to side and give yourself a little bit of a forehead massage. So as the partner here, I have a couple of options. I can walk to the back and I can give her a little bit of a back massage. Is that nice? Yeah. A little neck massage, head massage. And don't worry if you're the one giving the massage, you then get to get one as well. Or I can walk forwards in front of you. And then Lani, do you want to hold onto my ankles really tight? Really tight, don't let them go. And then I'm just gently going to walk my ankles, my feet away from you and stretch out really long through the spine. I can even push down at the base, just above your bottom, so that you become really, really tall. How's that? Good. Good. And then we swap. Now I get a little massage. Can you give me a little one? Yes. Yeah. So creasing the hands forward, fingers spread wide, forehead to the mat. Oh, that's nice. You're really good at this one, eh? <laughs> I need to come to you for massages more often. <laughs> My mom says that sometimes. Yeah, we should go we should go give your mom a massage too. Yeah. Oh, that feels so good. Thank you. Do you want to try our last one, our fun one? Yeah. Okay. So this is our favorite one because it's a little bit more playful, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to do a downward facing dog and you're going to do a little bit of a handstand. Yeah. So I'm going to come in. I'll do it the other way. Okay. But you can kick up. Do you want to come this way? Spread my fingers, tuck my toes, lift my hips. And then Lani's going to face the same way as me. Hands a little bit further forward. A little bit more. A little bit further forward, that's it. And then she's going to step up with one foot at a time, just above my bottom. So the toes are going to be, yep, yeah, that's it. And then the other foot, oh, you can do it, tuck the toes, nice. Look at me, give me a little wink, blow me a kiss. <laughs> and then when your arms get tired, you can come down. Nice. And then you can swap over. High five. five. You want me to try it on you? Yeah. Okay. I'll be, so face the other way again for me. This way? Yep. Yeah. I'll be really gentle. So facing the same way, hands, fingers go in the same direction, and then one toe comes up, and the other toe. How's that? Good. Not too much? No. And then coming back down. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> So how do you feel? You feel a little warm now? Yeah. Nice and stretched? Yeah. A little bit calmer as well? Wouldn't it be nice if you could do that at school all the time? Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. Now when we go to practice. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. We had a lot of fun and I hope that you did at home as well. Bye. Bye.